Yeah. I thought about what we might have for lunch today. Breaks in less than an hour. Okay then. Sir, let me put you through to someone who can actually help. Don't hang up. Hey, Chuck, can you take care of the guy on line three for me? I had something urgent come up. So guys, I'm really feeling the new restaurant, Hypnotic Taco, for lunch today. So what do you say? Oh my gosh, I would not be caught dead in that disgusting place. Come on, it's called Hypnotic Taco. How great is that? It sounds terrible. Besides, it gave my friend Ashley food poisoning last week. I don't care, that's Ashley's problem. I'm not going, okay? I want a California roll from Samurai's. Aren't you guys tired of that place? We eat there like 80% of the week. And the California roll sucks. Well, Andy, we've only actually eaten the samurai sushi twice this week. Since it's the fifth day of the normal work week, that means that, on the contrary, we've only eaten there 40% of the week. Oh, hi, my name is Glenn, and I know everything. It is my personal opinion that we would all be much happier if we ate at Burger Shack. Well, gee, thanks, Professor, but who asked you? You did, if I might remind you. He's right, you did ask him. And clearly, he doesn't want to go there either. I don't understand you people. You don't want to go to Hypnotic Taco? Fine. I'm just trying to save us all some money here. For $10, we can get two soft tacos and a free taco. That's the best lunch deal around here. It's not about the money. I have enough money. I don't have to eat there. It's not really an accurate claim either, Andy. For $10 at Burger Shack, we can get two pounds of food each, as opposed to the half pound three tacos you can get at the Hypnotic Taco. With that being the case, for every cent spent, we can expect to spend exactly... Hey, C-3PO, I don't really care about the numbers. I just thought it might convince you to go to Hypnotic Taco with me. Like I said, nothing could convince me to go to that place, even if it was the last place on Earth to eat. Whatever. Hypnotic Taco is out of the picture. But I hate the other places. What else is there? Oh, you're here. You're not invited. Well, I hate to ruin your little chat, but the lady that you brushed off earlier happens to be Mrs. O'Connor. That was a lady? My point exactly. She's a very wealthy client, and we were on the verge of working out the deal of the century with her. But, as of a few minutes ago, that's no longer the case. She was very offended by your lack of professionalism in answering the phone. Look, can't you see this is a bad time? We're talking about more important things here? That's just it. Your lunch plans won't be happening today. Boss wants you to fix this situation with Mrs. O'Connor by taking her to lunch instead. And there's more. I'm going with you. What? You heard me. We will be going to lunch together. Absolutely not. I refuse. Well, in that case, I suppose I should look for someone to fill your position. Boss isn't happy. So, barring no objections, you and I will be meeting her at the sushi restaurant in exactly 30 minutes. Oh, and you can drive. Maybe next time you want to be a jerk, you'll think about it. Can't be that bad. Just get the California roll. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? This is the best part. <laughs>